Once we get the sun to set, it's going to be a lot chillier this evening. Well, comparatively speaking to a couple of days ago, not as cool as this morning, though. That's the good thing. So if you thought today or this morning was a little bit too cold for you tomorrow, maybe two or three degrees warmer. So not a huge difference. Our border home improvement city cam network, though, you can see the sun setting and all different points of view even from the golf course here. But I think we're going to continue with those dry skies for the rest of tonight as our satellite and radar picture doesn't have much to show you there and even live power Doppler. It's a pretty clean sweep of the radar there. Uh, meanwhile, do want to focus on what's going to be ahead, especially as we head through this upcoming weekend. Not much on forecast track. It's going to be clear all the way through. By tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up into the low to mid 40s across our area under a chilly or clear sky that is with a southwest wind of five miles per hour. So we got down, I think, 40 to 41 degrees yesterday. We'll be again a couple degrees warmer than that tomorrow morning, but even warmer by the afternoon. That southwesterly wind is going to help send that high up into the low to mid 70s across our area. That's still above normal for this time of year. We're typically in the mid to upper 60s, but we're going to continue this warming trend for a few days. So after tomorrow gets even a tad bit warmer on Monday, Monday, I think majority of our viewing area will be in the low 70s with even warmer temperatures on tap for Tuesday as highs soar into the middle 70s across our area. I think we'll get to 74, maybe even as high as 76 degrees in a couple of locations just before a cold front arrives. This one's going to swing through Wednesday, but right now the way things are looking, it's only going to dry us out and keep us very cool as we head through the second half of the work week. The rainfall with this system is not going to be a big issue for many locations. As you notice, it's going to be fairly light as we head through Wednesday. Only a couple of spots may see some showers and they won't amount to much. As temperatures though, those ones will get even cooler. Here's a look at potential rainfall over the next week alone. I think the majority of the rain, at least the measurable stuff, will stay to our south or even far out to our east. As that front passes through, the rain will develop along it, but it'll be long gone from our viewing area before that time. Now, because it is feeling more like fall and you know, the weather's cooling down. I know a lot of folks like to go out and check out the fall foliage and the changing colors. And as far as next next week is concerned, I think we're going to be getting near the peak for those colors to uh, emerge from our area. But the farther north, obviously you get, they're going to be well past the peak for fall foliage. So if you happen to be out and about and want to check out the leaves in our area, we urge you to send us your photos. We'd love to see what you ca capture uh, if you're anywhere around town and you get any cool colors there. Our security bank seven day forecast several days in the 70s. That slight chance of rain on Wednesday. I think we'll just be mostly cloudy. Cooler though on the second half of the work week with highs back in the low to mid 60s. Greg, you happy with 60s? I know you don't like 90s. Yeah. Oh, this is those, more yeah. your, okay. This is my cup of tea right here. I, I, I love every one of those numbers. Those are great. Those are not yeah. good school grade numbers, but you know, <laughs> as for weather, passing. they <laughs> are great. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alina. Yep.